Hey, how's it going? Um, <clears throat> my name is Levi and I am working on this old horse trailer. And this is a 93. So when I took it apart, I stripped the whole thing down, sanded it, repainted it. And I'm trying to put in this gasket right here on this front window. Um, <clears throat> when I took it apart, the gasket was completely dry rotted. I was not going to be able to salvage the gasket so I had to buy a new gasket and I've never used these kind of gaskets before but they're commonly used on horse trailer windows, RV windows, even vehicle window windows, usually older vehicles. Um, <clears throat> you might see these on the windshield or back window, maybe even on a forklift or something like that. And what it is is it's a two stop or a two part locking gasket so you've got the first part right there so you're on on mine at least the panel of the horse trailer goes in this side the glass goes in this side I'm using plexiglass um, or Lexan and um, <clears throat> so you once you've got both pieces slid in there you're going to use this locking key or locking gasket right here and that fits right in this groove and that locks it into place so that the window and gasket cannot move um, puts a little bit of extra pressure in there however these things are very difficult to get in as I found out so they sell some tools um, you can find them on Trimlock's website um, I believe that's the product I'm using is Trimlock um, and uh, there's not a whole lot of different uh, gasket makers for these, these gaskets anymore, but um, there are some tools that help get these gaskets in and get them in easier. There's a couple tools. There's uh, basically like a hook and a, a plastic pry bar type thing that help you get the panel and the window sections in. And I've already put my window in and the gasket in what I'm working on right now is the the uh, the locking bead and that's proving pretty difficult the window was a little difficult to get in with the gasket um, but how I did that was basically uh, let's see if I can find it um, I used this tool right here which is actually a tire lever out of a bike repair kit uh, bike tire repair kit and it's uh, all I did was I put it in and just kind of like putting on a uh, the, the a tire on a bike you wedge this in run it all the way around the gasket to get it in it's easier if you start with the bottom to put the um, the, uh, the gasket in and put the so you put the gasket into the panel put the glass in bottom first work your way around the top um, <clears throat> and I got that in it was a little bit difficult not too bad but I also took an empty spray bottle filled it with some water and Dawn dish soap and that really helps um, and that's one thing that Trimlock uh, suggests but getting the the gasket in is a little difficult not too bad but the bead has proven to be my worst enemy so the locking bead I am working on that right now I've tried a couple different things um, and the locking bead tool that they sell is basically just something that you put the gasket through it and it opens up the the, the gap so you can force the gasket in and you slide the tool through laying the, the bead as you go now I don't have one of those tools um, I don't really want to go buy one because the only thing I'm probably ever going to use it for at least in the near future is so what I'd like to do is find a way to get it in without buying a specialty tool um, I don't really want to wait for it to come in I've um, got a lot of stuff to do on this horse trailer uh, if I can get it in without that specialty tool, that'd be best. So what I've found, I've tried a couple different things. 
I have tried taking a cheap dollar store spoon uh, for cooking and I have tried, let me put some, oh, I dropped it anyways. Um, <clears throat> and basically I got the first piece in just a tiny bit in and then I put this spoon in just to open it up there and pressed it in as I went and that worked somewhat is very painfully slow um, and uh, my solution is not going to be super fast but it's better than buying a tool for right now um, so um, you know if you do try to do that use lots of soap and you're just going to kill your your fingers and your thumbs trying to press it in so what I have found is use a screwdriver a flathead find yourself a cheap flathead i have a million of these cheap ones these are this is just a harbor freight flathead screwdriver and put lots of soap and you're going to use this to basically slide it in slide the edges in and as you go kind of like the tire lever but this is a little bit smaller a little bit easier to get in there but if you do that what you need to do is take this and i don't know if you could see it but I have kind of rounded it off. My phone won't focus here, but um, I have rounded it off because you do not want sharp edges with this, this stuff, especially with the kind of pressure you're gonna need to slide it through. So um, I, take, I took a piece of sandpaper, and that's why I say use a cheap screwdriver, because I took this piece of sandpaper and just sanded down any sharp edges and that will also make it much easier to slide it through. Make sure you get the sides, the top, the edges, and get it nice and rounded off. And then I'm going to bring you over here and turn the camera around and show you what we're doing. Bear with me, see if I can get a good camera angle. Okay, that'll work. So, once again, use lots of soapy water, and we're going to try to get the soapy water not only on the bead, but on the outside of the gasket near the gap and also inside the gap. So you can take this spoon we talked about earlier, wedge it in there, open it up so you can spray in there and I can see it running down in that gap where the locking tool goes. So it's got a flap on each side that you've got to sit in into the, the gap into the gasket so I'm gonna start on one side where I've already started so you do have to kind of get a little bit little tiny piece in if you're starting from scratch um, but I'm gonna hold it up against it and just run this screwdriver all along it pressing as I go on the one side and my Take a little bit of trial and error you kind of have to turn it a little bit so you can get that one side set in you got to do just a little bit at a time i'm gonna go to the other side and just slide it along it seating the other side as i go and like i said this is not the easiest thing to do i'm not saying this is a super easy way to get this job done but it's easier and trying to do it with your fingers to me trying to do it with my fingers was impossible i have big old fat fingers so i'm just going to slide it in as i go and in about 10 minutes i've gotten a quarter of the way around so this is going to take me some time but with my fingers i couldn't do any at all so 
It's going to take me a little bit of time. It's faster than buying a tool. It's cheaper than buying a tool. I had this cheap screwdriver laying around. So hope that helps you out. And uh, just remember, use lots of soapy water and grind down the edges of your, uh, your, your screwdriver here. Um, good luck.